Hello students, in the last class we were discussing, we have derived the equation of the plane in normal form and also we have solved few problems. Let us continue the problem. So here we need to find the direction cosine of the unit vector, okay, of which vector? Of a unit vector perpendicular to the plane vector r dot sin psi cap minus 3j cap minus 2k cap plus 1 and equal to 0. Passing through origin. So the equation is given by vector r dot 6 i cap minus 3 j cap minus 2 k cap plus 1 is equal to 0. Okay, this can be written as vector r dot 6 i cap minus 3 j cap minus 2 k cap is equal to minus 1. Okay, I Multiply uh, the minus sign on both sides. So this becomes vector r dot minus 6 i cap plus 3 j cap plus, plus 2 k cap is equal to 1. So this is in the form of vector r dot. This is nothing but vector n. This entire thing is vector n is equal to b. Where vector n is nothing but a i cap plus b j cap plus c k. What we require? We require the direction cosine. Here the direction ratios for the vector n is a, b, c. So I know how to find it. Once I know how to, uh, uh, once I know the direction ratios, we can easily find the direction cosines. So let us find the direction cosines for this vector. There was for the unit vector. So let us find the direction cosines and the direction cosines is given by n is equal to a divided by root of a square plus b square plus c square and similarly for m it is b divided by root of a square plus b square plus c square and for n it is c divided by root of a square plus b square plus c square. Since we have already solved for many problems how to find the direction uh, cosine, let me write it directly. Therefore, the direction cosine is given by here the value of a just compare it the value of a is minus 6, b is 3, and c is 2. Therefore, first it will be a by root of a square plus b square plus c square, where a is minus 6, divided by root of a square, which is 6 square, 36, b square, 3 square, 9, c square, which is 2 square, 4. Therefore, it will be equal to root 49, where root 49 is nothing but 7. Okay, then next it will be b by root of a square plus b square plus c square. b is 3 divided by 7 and c by root of a square plus b square plus c square. Therefore, 2 by 7. Therefore, this is the direction cosine for the given problem. Next, find the distance. Now, we need to find what? We need to find the distance. Distance p of the plane. 2x minus 3y plus 4z minus 6 is equal to 0 from the origin. Therefore, here the equation of the plane is given by 2x minus 3y plus 4z minus 6 is equal to 0. This can be written as 2x minus 3y plus 4z is equal to 6. This is in the form of ax plus by plus cz is equal to c, not c. So once we have this equation, we need to find, see, uh, we have derived the equation in the form lx plus my plus nz is equal to b. So here, n, m, n are the direction cosines. So for this direction ratios, a, b, c, you need to find direction cosines. So here, we are interested only to find b. In order to find d, what you can do is, you can just divide that uh, entire equation by root of a square plus b square plus c square. So let us first find what is root of a square plus b square plus c square. So it is root of, compare, this is 2 square plus minus 3 the whole square plus 4 square. Therefore which will be equal to 2 square 4, 3 square 9, 4 square 3, which is root 29. Therefore dividing the entire equation by root 29, we get 2x by root 29 minus 3y by root 29 plus 4z by root 29 is equal to 6 by root 29. Now our equation is in the form of lx plus my plus nz is equal to b. Therefore, the distance in b which they have asked is equal to 6 divided by root 29. Next problem. 
an important problem for three mark. Okay. Here we need to find the coordinate of the foot of the perpendicular drawn from the origin to the plane. In order to find the coordinate of the foot of the perpendicular, let us assume the coordinate of the foot of the perpendicular to be x1, y1, and z. Okay. Let the coordinates of the foot of the perpendicular B, x1, y1, and z. So once we know the coordinate of the foot of the perpendicular as x1, y1, and z1, therefore this becomes the direction ratios. Therefore the direction ratios are x1, y1, and z1. Next we have the equation of the plane which is 2x minus 3y plus 4z minus 6 is equal to 0. Or we can write it as 2x minus 3y plus 4z is equal to 6. From this, let us find what is direction cosines. So direction cosines, this equation in the form, remember always, I have told you in the previous class also, this, this equation will be in the form of ax plus by plus z is equal to p where a, b, c are okay the direction ratios and you need to find the direction cosines with again use the formula a by root of a square plus b square plus c square and so on therefore here 2 divided by root of 2 square plus 3 square plus 4 square which will be equal to root 29 which is 4 plus 9 plus 16 next minus 3 by root 29 and 4 by root 29 are the direction cosines for the given equation. And we already know that direction ratios and direction cosines are proportional. If you remember the first class of three dimensional geometry, I have told the direction ratios and direction cosines are proportional. Therefore, since direction ratios and direction cosines are Proportional, we can write the as what are the direction ratios? Root x1 and direction cosines here 2 by root 29. Therefore, I can write x1 by 2 by root 29, which is equal to y1 by minus 3 by root 29, which is equal to z1 by 4 by root 29, which is equal to some constant k. From this, I can write x1 which is equal to or x1 by 2 by root 29 which is equal to k. Therefore, I can write this as x1 is equal to 2k by root 29 by cross multiplying. Therefore, now I hope you have understood. So, I can write it directly x1 will be equal to 2k by root 29 next y1 will be equal to minus 3k by root 29 and z1 is equal to 4k by root 29. Now, I am going to substitute these values in the equation of the plane and hence get the value of k. So, substituting these values in equation of the plane, we get k is equal to 6 by root 29. Now, how did we get k is equal to 6 by root 29? Yes. See, x1, y1, z1 is also a point on this plane. Okay, so even that satisfies the equation of the plane. So once it is satisfying the equation of the plane, I can substitute the value of x1, y1, z1 in the place of x, y, z in order to find k value. I'll show you that for 2a2, see the equation is 2x minus 3y plus 2z is equal to 6. Okay, 2, x1 value is nothing but 2k by 29. Next. Minus 3 into y1 value minus 3k by 29 and z1 
plus 4, so z is equal to 4k by root 29, which is equal to 6. Okay, if I simplify, if I take the LCM, it is root 29, and in the numerator we have 4k plus 9k plus 16, where 4k plus 9k plus 16k, which is equal to 29k. Therefore, we get 29 divided by root 29, which is equal to 629k divided by root 29, which is equal to 6. 29 by root 29 can be written as root 29k, which is equal to 6. Hence, k will be equal to 6 by root 29. This is how we get the value of k. Okay, so instead of simplifying all these things, I have written it directly. Even you can write it directly. How? You can just uh, see this 6 you have to divide uh, by the entire equation by root of a square plus b square plus c square. So we'll get that. Okay, so I hope you have understood this. Let us continue with the problem. So now we found the value of k. Let us substitute this value of k in x1, y1, and z1 because we are interested in finding the values of x1, y1, and z1. So substituting in x1 and y1 and z1, the value of k we get x1, therefore x1 will be equal to 2 by root 29 into k, which is 6 by root 29. Therefore, this will be equal to 12 by 29. Next, y1 will be equal to, what is y1? Minus 3k by root 29. So, minus 3 by root 29 into 6 by root 29, which is equal to minus 3k by 29. And similarly, z1, which is equal to 4k by root 29, which is equal to 4 by root 29 into 6 by root 29, which is 24 by 29. Therefore, the required coordinates of the foot of the perpendicular are 12 by 29 minus 18 by 29 and 24 by 29. Next problem of the same kind. Here also we need to find the coordinates of the foot of the perpendicular. So we have taken it that as x1, y1, z1. Therefore, the direction, the ratios will be now equal to x1, y1 and z1. So we have the equation of the plane which is given by x plus y plus z is equal to 1. Therefore, this is in the form of ax plus by plus cz is equal to p. Okay, let us find the direction cosines. So in order to find the direction cosines, it will be what is the coefficient of x here? It is 1. Therefore, 1 divided by root of a square plus b square plus c square, which is root of 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square, which is root 3. Similarly, next it will be 1 by root 3 and also 1 by root 3. Therefore, we got the direction cosine. And we know that direction ratios and direction cosines are proportional. Direction ratios and direction cosines are proportional. Therefore, from that we can write x1 by 1 by root 3 is equal to y1 by 1 by root 3 is equal to z1 by 1 by root 3 is equal to k. From this I can write x1 is equal to k by root 3 or 1 into k by root 3. I have already told you how we get this. Next, similarly, y1 will be equal to k by root 3 and z1 is equal to k by root 3. Now, we should substitute these values in equation of the plane in order to get the value of k. So, substituting these values in equation of the plane, we get k is equal to can you guess what the value of k will be? Now the value of k will be 1 by root of a square plus b square plus c square. That is 1 by root 3. Okay. Now we found what is k. So substitute this k again in x1, y1, z1. Why? Because we are interested in finding x1, y1 and z1. 
So therefore, x1 will be now equal to x1 is what? K by root 3. Or we can write it as 1 by root 3 into k, which is 1 by root 3 into k values 1 by root 3, therefore 1 by 3. Next, what will be the minor value? Again, it is k by root 3 into, no, sorry, 1 by root 3 into k, therefore again this will be equal to 1 by 3, and similarly, that one will be equal to 1 by 3. Therefore, the coordinates, hence, the coordinates. of the foot of perpendicular is 1 by 3 comma 1 by 3 comma 1 by 3. Next problem again of the same kind. So let us do it a little fast. So here we need to find the coordinates. So we have taken the coordinates of the foot of the perpendicular as x1 minus z1. Hence the direction ratio will become x1 minus z1. The equation which is given is 3y plus 4z minus x is equal to 0. Therefore, you can write it as 3y plus 4z is equal to 6. Here we don't have x terms, so you can write it as 0 into x. Okay, but don't write only x. Okay, 0 into x. From this, let us find what is the direction for sine. So, direction for sine is nothing but a by root of a square plus b square plus c square, b by root of a square plus b square plus c square, and c by root of a square plus b square plus c square. Here, a is 0 divided by root of a square, 0 square, b square, b square, c square, 4 square. So, it is 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16, root 25 is nothing but 5. So, 0 by 5, it is understood, it is 0 only. Next, next it is 3 divided by root of a square plus b square plus c square, which is 5, then 4 by 5. So, this is your direction cosine. We know that direction ratios and direction cosines are proportional. Therefore, I can write x1 by 0, y1 by 3 by 5, z1 by 4 by 5, which is equal to k. Therefore, from the second guide, we get x1 as what? 0, 0 into k is 0. Then y1 which is equal to 3k by 5 and z1 which will be equal to 4k by 5. Now substituting these values in this equation, we get the value of k to be equal to 6 divided by 5. Okay, therefore let us find what x1 is. x1 is 0 already you know because there is no k term to substitute. Next y1 which is equal to 3k by 5, 3 into 5, into 6 by 5, therefore which will be equal to 18 by 25. And z1 which is equal to 4k by 5, therefore 4 by 5 into 6 by 5, which is 24 by 25. Okay, hence the coordinates of the foot of the perpendicular is 0, 18 by 25 and 24 by 25. Okay. With this, uh, the problems on equation of the plane in the normal form is completed. I'll give you two more problems for your assignments of same kind. Please solve those as homework. Okay. The right of the equation is here only. The question is saying you need to find the coordinate of the foot of the perpendicular drawn from the origin to the plane. Where the equation of the plane for the first one is 2x plus 3y plus 4z minus 12 is equal to 0. And the second question is 5y plus 8 is equal to 0. So I'll just uh, both the questions in a similar way. Next. Let us derive the equation of a plane which is perpendicular to a given vector and passing to a point. So as it says, so this plane which I have written in orange, let us derive the next equation of the plane. Here we derive for equation of a plane perpendicular to a given vector and passing to a point. So this plane which I have written in orange, for this plane, we have a vector perpendicular to f. So, equation of a plane which is 
perpendicular to a given vector and passing through a point. So let us consider a point A which is passing through a plane. So we have point A which is passing through a plane. So let this point A has the position vector, vector A. Let P be any point on this plane such that the P point lies on this plane if and only if vector AP is perpendicular to vector N. And the position vector of the point P is vector R. Ah, so let us write all these things in words. Let a plane passes to the point A with position vector vector A and perpendicular to vector vector N. Let R B D position vector of the point P. The point P lies on the plane if and only if Vector AP is perpendicular to vector N. Remember, student, you should write this. This is complete. So, here, as I said, vector AP is perpendicular to vector N. So, when the two vectors are perpendicular, we know that the dot product between these two vectors will be equal to 0. Therefore, vector AP dot vector N is equal to Z. Now, vector AP, if you see here, I am going to apply the triangular law of addition. So, according to that, I can write vector OA plus vector AP, which will be equal to vector OB. From this, I can write Vector AP is equal to vector OP minus vector OA. Therefore, vector AP will be now equal to vector OP minus vector OA dot vector N which is equal to Z. Vector OP which is nothing but vector R minus vector OA which is vector A dot N which is equal to vector N equal to 0. So, this is the vector form of the equation of the plane perpendicular to a given vector and passing to a given, given point. It is derived its Cartesian form. So, this is the vector form. In order to derive its Cartesian form, let us write the component of vector R and Okay, so vector R which is xr cap plus yj cap plus z cap and vector A which is equal to x1i cap plus y1j cap plus z1p cap. So vector L which is equal to ai cap plus bj cap plus cp cap. Now substituting all this N equation number 1, substituting these values in equation 1. We have considered the vector form of the equation uh, plane as equation number 1. Now substituting all this value in equation 1 in order to find its Cartesian form. So we have vector r first. So vector r is given by xi cap plus yj cap plus zk cap minus vector A which is x1i cap plus y1j cap plus z1k cap dot 
Next vector n, which is ai cap plus b j cap plus c k cap, which is equal to zero. Okay. Now let us uh, find. Let us subtract the two vectors. We already know how to subtract two vectors. So this will be given by x minus x one into i cap plus y minus y one into j cap plus z minus z one. Into k cap dot product with a i cap plus b j cap plus c k cap, which is equal to zero. Okay. Now let us find the dot product between the two vectors. So this will be given by x minus x one into a. We know that i dot i is equal to one. Next plus. Y minus y one into b plus z minus z one into c which is equal to b. This can also be written as a into x minus x one plus b into y minus y one plus c into z minus z one which is equal to z. So this is the Cartesian form of the equation of the plane. Which is perpendicular to a given vector and passing through a form. Okay, remember this formula. Let us solve problems on this. Let's, let us solve problems on equation of plane perpendicular to a given vector and passing through a given point. So here they have asked us to find both vector form and Cartesian. So of the plane which passes through the point. So there we have taken a point A. Okay, if you remember point A. For this, the position vector we have taken it as A, where vector A, general form vector A is x1 i cap plus y1 j cap plus z1 j cap, which is what we have written. Okay, for that passes through a point. For this point, they have mentioned a coordinate form. So once we know the coordinates, that is nothing but the direction ratios. So if you know the direction ratios, you can write the components of the vector. So now vector A will be equal to phi i cap plus two j cap minus four k cap. Okay. Next and perpendicular to the line. You know the line which was perpendicular to the plane. It was the vector n. So vector n. Which is given by a i cap plus b j cap plus c k cap. Here also, for this, they have given the direction ratios. From the direction ratios, we can able to write the vector because they the direction ratios represent the scalar component of a vector. Therefore, vector n, which is equal to two i cap plus three j cap minus one k cap. So now we know what is vector a and what is vector n. By substituting this in vector form and Cartesian form, we get the equation of the plane both in vector and Cartesian equation. Therefore, vector form is given by vector r minus vector a dot vector n is equal to z. So substitute so vector r which is We know that vector R is x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap minus vector A, which is given by phi i cap plus two j cap minus four k cap dot vector n two i cap plus three j cap minus k cap is equal to zero. So this is the vector form. Let us derive the Cartesian form. In order to derive the Cartesian form, you can do it directly. So the Cartesian form is given by a into x minus x one plus b into y minus y one plus c into z minus z one is equal to zero. So a, what is the value of a here? Compare the value of a is two into x minus x one. What is your x one value? Five. Plus b, it is three y minus y one, so y minus two. Then plus c is minus one into z minus z one value is minus four. So simplify this. Let us simplify. For simplification, I am going to multiply it. So two x minus ten plus three y minus six. 
So here, let it minus minus, so minus 1 into z, minus z. So here, this becomes minus 2 minus plus, then again multiply by minus. Therefore, this becomes minus 4 is equal to 0. So we get the term 2x plus 3y minus z. Then we have minus 20 is equal to 0. So this is the partition equation for the given point and the line which is perpendicular to the plane. Next problem of the same kind. Again, we need to find both vector and Cartesian equation here. They are given this plane is passing to the point 1, 0, minus 2 and normal to the plane. There, in the previous, they have given the direction, ratios of that line. So here, they have directly given that normal value. So first, let us write what is vector A. Vector A is given by 1i cap plus 0j cap minus 2k cap and vector N is given by vector n is equal to i cap plus j cap plus k Let us find its vector form first. So vector r which is x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap minus vector a. Vector a is 1 i cap plus 0 j cap minus 2 k cap dot vector n i cap plus j cap plus k cap which is equal to 0. So this is your vector form. Let us find its Cartesian form. So in to find its Cartesian form, we know that Cartesian equation is given by a into x minus x1 plus b into y minus y1 plus c into z minus z1 is equal to 0. So a, the value of a is 1 into x minus x1 it is 1 plus b, b is 1, y minus y one minus 0, plus c is 1, z minus z1, z1 value is minus 2, which is equal to 0. Let us simplify this, therefore, we get x minus 1 plus y plus z plus 2 is equal to 0. Okay, so we get this as x plus y plus z plus 1 which is equal to c. So this is the equation, vector equation and Cartesian equation for the given point and for the normal vector to the plane. Next, you have a similar problem. I will give you as a homework. So for the third problem, which is the homework problem, you can take down here the point is 1, 4, 6 and the normal to the plane which is i cap minus 2 j cap plus k cap. I hope you can solve this problem. So in next class let us derive the equation of the plane passing through three non-collinear points.